In PowerDirector 17, in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you on how to add transitions to your actual movie clips. So the first thing we're going to need is a movie. So I'll grab my dog and drag it down and put it there. Then we need a transition. Transitions I can go to is located here at the lightning bolt or I can go to F8. So when I click that, our transitions will open. Now I don't see a whole lot of transitions there. There are a lot more. And if you're not paying attention, there is a tiny blue arrow right there. You need to click that blue arrow and you can open the window pane and get access to all your transitions here. If I click all, there is 181 I currently have in there, which would be a pain to scroll through, which would take a lot of time. By having different categories, it makes it much easier to find what I'm looking for. There's general, there's special, so it makes it a lot easier when they're categorized. So now, let's say I want to take the heart. I want to put it, I don't know, anywhere in here, but it's not letting me. I got a hand, I got, I, I come down here, nope. It's just not working. And the reason for that is, is because I didn't cut it. You have to actually cut your video or split. So let's say I want one probably right there, okay? Up here, just a little bit to the left, you will see split your timeline, which is cutting your video. So I put a slice in it, and I got a line there now. And you'll see it there. See that slice there? So now, let's say I'm going to expand this so you guys can see this easier. I'm going to say view entire movie, which is just under this place. So that stretches it out. So now you can see my line a little bit easier. So let's say I want the hearts. I'll grab the heart. And now notice it creates a yellow box around that split. Now I can put it after the cut or before the cut or put it in the middle of the cut, but not down here. I'm going to put it in the middle and let go. So now, when I play it, I'm going to see my transition in PowerDirector 17. So rule of thumb, whenever you want to add a transition, make sure you cut your video. That's pretty much all you're doing. So if I want to add another one there, I got that one. Then I could come here. I could do another cut. Then I could add some flames. And now I've got three transitions inside my movie clip of PowerDirector 17. There's one, there's two, and there's three. I could simply add some music to it, and now I could really play it with my transitions. Now transitions normally are placed when you go to one clip to another clip. So it basically says we're exiting one movie and going into another movie, and you've already got the slit in between the two movies, if you noticed. So it doesn't need to be cut when we actually go to the movie. So if I want another transition to go from my dog to, say, my truck, I'll grab this ripple effect, for example, put that in the center of that, and you'll see the yellow lines there. And there we go. So now... I'll play the movie and we should see something happen as it goes from my dog to my truck. And you see how it had that wavy look to it. And that's normally when you use your transitions to tell people we're moving into something else. So there's a quick lesson on how to use transitions in PowerDirector 17, really easy. Just make sure you slice it, cut it, split it with a line before you actually do, unless you're actually transi transitioning from one movie to another. At any rate, guys, I'll catch you on the next one.